world. Hello, beloved souls. I am Nadine and this is my second vlog. As you can see, today is a beach day. I am in Newcastle or much more precise near Newcastle at Merlot Beach. It is right on the edge of a nature reserve with a lot of dunes. And um, to give you some perspective of the surroundings, I just show you. This goes on and on and on. And here is Marjorie. And I built a little shelter for her because I was really worried that this day might be too hot for her. Um, but it's okay. We have our shelter. She has built her own little hole because the sand underneath the hot sand is really cold and she isn't panting. She seems very satisfied and I am too. But that wasn't the case when the week began and this is why I do another vlog. See, I had a really, really rough day on uh, Wednesday. Um, I want to talk about that because even though it's been four years since my burnout, these kind of days happen. And I was wondering, maybe these days happen to you too. And um, maybe what I learned from these days can be of help to you guys. So let's jump right in. The first thing I learned was communication. I am not very good at communicating how I feel because for me mental health sometimes still is something that other people might not be able to understand since it's not like a physical hindrance you can't see that you're hurt it's just all in your mind so usually I just power through and I try the tools that I learned during my healing process like affirmations or meditation or yoga but this time I woke up and I felt so out of body as though someone else was operating my body really and it really took a toll on me because none of the tools I usually practice helped me so by lunchtime I really was on a constant verge of tears and I could really find a way out of it because there was a voice inside my head that every time I tried something to get back to positivity and, and like turn the wheel around, it would make cynical comments and really drag me down into hopelessness. And all I wanted to do was pretty much curl up under my, under my blanket in my bed, sleep it off and like burst into tears and let it out. But I couldn't because I am in a foreign country. I am hosted by someone who agreed to host me in exchange for my work and I really really enjoy and love my work so I'm really thorough with it and I really want to do a good job but I simply couldn't and I remember when when I after lunchtime I, I stood at the sink and did some washing up and I agreed to do some jobs for the afternoon and it wasn't really like a decision or like I haven't thought about it really. That just was this pinnacle of what I could bear. And after that, I turned around and I went to my host and I just said, look, I, I would love to do my work good and I want to do it good, but today I can't. I am simply... I'm not myself. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what happened. I can't bear it. And I wanted to ask you if I can switch this half day off for a half day on the weekend and, and do work instead on the weekend. <laughs> and just the consideration, the understanding, the support I got from him was so amazing. And I'm so grateful for it. I, I even got a hug from him and, and he said, no problem, do whatever you need to do to get better. And the day progressed with even more support from other people. Like I wrote to my um, previous hosts in Scotland and all day they would send me li little videos about 
their dogs because I like just love their dogs and how they had walking time on the beach and how they got fed and um, how they would jump around in the garden and play with each other and I even got a, a picture of someone like doing this hug um, sent to me in order to support me through the whole day so I was so so grateful for just communicated how I felt because normally I would push through and try my best to hide it because I want to be ordinary I want to be like everyone else who can just do what they're supposed to do and seeing that you get support from all around even if you wouldn't expect it particularly when you don't expect it it's so so encouraging and so healing and I really really appreciate the support I get from everyone out there so yeah first lesson from this day is communication the second thing I learned was about labeling so if you read my blog it's wunderfinder.org you might have by now <laughs> um, the absolute knowledge about how I approach life. I really want to be in the now. I gave up my job, I gave my, up my apartment, I'm on this travel adventure with my dog and I really want to dive into life and learn the art of effortless living. So when you live in the now you should not judge because everything that happens to you is kind of an experience like any other. But I'm human, we all are, so when I get lost in my daily routine, I totally sometimes forget that I do still judge things. For example, this day, I was so hard trying to get rid of these negative feelings because all I do is strive for happiness because that's what I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be happy, right? And while suppressing this negative feeling, it only got stronger. And it reminded me of the Disney Pixar movie Inside Out, where toxic positivity suppresses feelings that we, as humans, label bad, like sadness or anger or disappointment. And after I got better on that day, I realized that I wasn't in the now. I wasn't living it. I should have just sat down and let this sadness or disappointment or hopelessness just come up, embrace it, maybe even appreciate it for what it was and ask what it wanted to show me because obviously when I feel that way there needs to be some kind of healing to be done. I need to address what I feel, I need to see what this feeling let's let uh, what this feeling brings up inside of me so realizing that I indeed did not live in the now was just another lesson that I wanted to really progress and learn more to incorporate in my daily life even if it is daily routine I want to incorporate this kind of non judgmental approach to life in order to be more in the now and with the second one I'm now coming to the third one that I learned the third lesson that I learned um, is about perspectives see I didn't learn that kind of lesson from my own experience I am pretty grateful that I um, was supporting someone else in their journey and I would tell them how proud I am of them for the progress they made in their own self-growth and I was reminding them where they started out and really what I learned about that is we are so good at telling others that they made progress and that they are doing a very good work but we are not doing the same for ourselves. So <laughs> this whole rough day would have been so different if I would have just sat down in the beginning 
um, wrote into my journal and made sure that I realized where I started out. I started out four years ago as a self-loathing, socially distant and anxious person manipulating others while hating myself and without any self-worth and yeah I had a rough day but put into perspective I'm still at a very 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 good point in my life and realizing that I'm very grateful as well so in conclusion what this means for me is that from this one rough day I took away three life lessons and I'm very very appreciative and grateful for them that's why I wanted to share them um, also what really was the turning point on that whole day for me was journaling and writing a letter to my past self in order to put into perspective where we were and where we are now so if you're interested about that letter it's, it's very personal I didn't want to read it out in the vlog but you can read it on my blog wunderfinder.org I give the direct link into the description box put it there for you if you're interested and um, with that said I'm really really thankful and grateful right now for that day in hindsight and um, I hope maybe what I learned is of service of help of support for someone out there who goes through the same thing with that and the lovely picture in the background I want to thank you so much for watching and um, maybe you want to get in contact I give my email I put my email address also in the description box and um, thank you so much for listening to me for watching this video and i wish all of you a wonderful start into the new week thank you thank you so much 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 love and light beloved souls goodbye